Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video we'll be covering the final part of the Photoscan tutorial. We'll mainly be using GIMP to create um, your standard PBR textures for this rock that we created. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is jump over to GIMP. Just going to open my textures. Um, that's a diffuse that we created in, in the previous tutorial. And I want to open my Quixel Megascan reference chart. So one thing you want to do is you want to open your histogram over here. How you do that is you go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and you just see there's your histogram. So first thing you want to do is we want to get a value for the albedo texture, which is over here, because we're going creating a rock texture. So what we want to do is to just use the color picker, just click on the rock, I'm going to use the bucket fill tool and click new and we're going to fill that. Then you'll see here on your histogram you have a medium value of 156. So that is the value that we have to aim for here with our texture. So a couple of things we want to do first, we are going to duplicate this layer we're first going to desaturate it and then we're going to invert it. So you see you get like a negative value there. And we're going to change its influence to soft light. You'll see what it does is it is a quick and easy way to remove all like hard shadows or just different tones and lighting. So you see main effect would be over there and just get a more even tone to your texture. I'm happy with that one, so I'm just going to click right click and click new from visible. Then you'll see it creates a new texture from everything that was visible there. And then we're just going to jump over to the histogram and click your um, colors, curves, and try and get a medium value of 156. So we're going to have to move this one up. One fifty seven is pretty accurate, so I'm just gonna click OK. And then essentially that is our albedo texture done. So just going to call that albedo. Going to click it. I believe let's rename it albedo slash diffuse. So you'll see here we still have our normal diffuse located here and we have this one which is our invert color. I'm going to delete that one. Then the second one we want to do is our microsurface. Now your microsurface is mainly, for those of you, you who use a Marmoset tool bag, it is your gloss map. So let's just click that one over there. Oh, wait, first color picker, click that one over there, use the fill tool, and check our medium value is 49. So what you want to do here is we're going to use the original texture, just duplicate it, call this gloss slash micro, and then we are going to desaturate it, and then use the levels tool. So let's jump over to that one there. And we're looking for a value of 49. Now, what you're trying to do here is trying to push your white colors because that will be your reflective color. I think Unreal might actually invert that. I'm referring to Marmoset Toolbag where they use the whites to push out uh, re reflectivity or shininess basically. And I think Unreal does the opposite with the white colors, but it's a very easy way to fix it in Unreal. So we'll use the same method, but um, there might be just be a different texture setup in Unreal that I'll show if we import this. So let's just change this. So we're looking for 49. Okay, that's starting to look good. So let's just push that up a bit. There's very few spots on this that I actually want to shine through, so that might be a bit much. So let's try and get it down to something like this. Okay, 
I'm going to leave it at 45. That looks pretty, pretty good. So we're just going to click OK. And that is our microservice done. So the final one we're going to create is the reflectivity or the specular map. So let's click that one. Fill it and see the medium value is 65. So let's jump back over here. We're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to call it specular slash reflect. We're going to desaturate. Let's check it. So the one we're looking for is 65. So let's see 123. So let's just take the curve tool and just push it down. Okay, we're on 66. That's okay. So I'm just going to click there. And let's just see what the different textures look like. So you'll see there's our albedo, our gloss or microsurface, and there's our specular. So let's export all of these. So first click your albedo texture. I'm just going to call it the diffuse. So let's do rock diffuse export and select that one let's go to the microsurface I'm just going to call this gloss and the specular Okay, so what we're going to do next is just actually uh, import all of this into Unreal Engine 4. So first thing, I've never exported this model. So without actually changing anything here, I'm just going to click the model, hit export, FBX, selected object, then negative Y is the forward, geometries, we're going to change the smoothing groups to edge detect, and we're just going to remove that add leaf bone and rock photo scan. That's okay. We're going to hit export and we're going to open up Unreal Engine 4. And we're going to hit import. Let's see, there's all our texture. So I'm going to highlight all of these. I think. It might actually import the material as well. So let's just click there. I think I missed one there. Let's just uncheck the material and textures. The specular is the one I missed. The diffuse, that one I don't want. So let's just right click, create a new material. We'll call it rock mat. And we open it and then we're going to drag all of these textures into it. Change this to flat shading and let's start connecting the nodes. Oops. This one was a specular. And I think the roughness map is where we're going to put this one in. You'll see that it's got like a shiny turn to it. We can turn it down a little bit, but I think that should be fine for this tutorial. So let's just open the, the rock here and we're going to highlight, up, highlight our material and just click the use selected asset from content browser. Now you notice that our, I would say that our normal map is not ideal, but um, we get, it gets a job done. There are better ways to create the normal map, as I mentioned in one of the previous tutorials, but we just created the normal map from the texture. So for this general purpose, it is fine. Let's just save that. And we're just going to drag this into the world and hit play.
and there you see there is our rock that we created from the photo scan in its final form the lighting hasn't been built yet so it's some of the things don't look that awesome yet but it is essentially that is our model done a few things that i just want to touch up is you'll see there is a slight seam running here and that is because we decided to push the seam through the center of the model a better way to do it would be to do it along the curve so as we did if we did it along that curve it wouldn't show up as uh, as much as there but that still looks pretty good so that in essence is our model done so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel you'll leave a like if you liked it leave a dislike if you didn't like it but the more likes i get the more subscribers i get the more videos i'll put out and uh, the more content i can create and i can help you to create your content so once again i will see all of you in the next video and i thank you all very much for watching thank you bye bye